Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Robin Brown, the final sister wife standing on Sister Wives, is not without her detractors within the fan base. The star of Sister Wives, Michael T. Brown, is one of the few adult daughters who has a relationship with Robin and Cody Brown. She has been vociferous about the new season since the trailer was released. But as one of her Patreon supporters pointed out, everything has changed. She disclosed that she no longer had any relationship with Robin. Since many of her siblings drifted away from their father, Michael T. and her husband, Tony Padrone, had previously made an effort to keep Cody and Robin engaged in their lives as well as the lives of their children. But in August, viewers began to think something was awry in the relationship between Robin and Cody, as well as Michael T. and Tony. Tony discovered this when he watched a Patreon video in which Cody and Robin listed their flagstaff, Arizona, home for sale. Since Tony and Michael T. were the final few individuals to know, fans started to get suspicious. In a video that was uploaded on August 27, Tony stated, That is quite a shocker. I can't believe Cody and Robin made a move this large and none of us knew. Where are they going? That's some pretty wild news that I was unaware of. On Michael T's Patreon, someone left a remark that said, It means I'm afraid they are lying again, like they have done so previously. When it came to Michael T and Tony, they seemed to be lying just as they did with Leon, Christine, and other people. At least in the past, Gwen respected her subscribers enough to state that she was not permitted to reveal or speak further for X reasons. She responds by giving the reason behind her breakup with Robin. She wrote, We make a great effort to say what we can while honoring our families and relationships. We are truthful. In order to provide you with some understanding, it's true that we have always given Robin a lot of support. Yes, it appears to have changed recently. The reasons for that are certain events that transpired during the most recent burial. We're not going to discuss those incidents. Thus, you're not entirely incorrect. In any case, I appreciate your help and attention. I hope this is somewhat helpful. As fans may remember, Garrison Brown, the son of Cody and Janelle Brown and Michael T. sibling, unfortunately died in March after suffering a gunshot wound to the head. Garrison was one of the few adult children who was not in contact with Cody at the time of his death. Robin did show up for Garrison's memorial ceremony and his private funeral. It's unclear what went wrong and what she did, and it's also unclear which service caused the relationships to break down. Michael T. says that even though she doesn't communicate with Robin, she still talks to her father, who is actively active in her kid's life. My dad and I spoke a few days ago, but our main topic was Ace, the woman remarked. She also talks about the rumors that Robin and Cody are moving to Splitsville saying that if they were splitting up, she would be so unbelievably surprised. To be honest, I never would have imagined that the two would get separated. Could it be that the Brown family therapist was even apprehensive about working with Cody Brown? While re-watching previous episodes, Sister Wives fans noticed something intriguing. Fans of Sister Wives believe Nancy the therapist detested Cody. Early on in Sister Wives, the family went to counseling on a regular basis. Navigating the difficulties of polygamy, Nancy the therapist assisted the older members of the Brown family. The sessions, though, never quite appeared to go as planned. Many Sister Wives fans now feel that Cody's massive ego is to blame. The original poster's Reddit post was titled, Nancy the Therapist. Is it just me, or does it appear that Nancy, their Vegas therapist, didn't think well of Cody? Like everyone else, I'm now watching the episode again, and I'm up to the point where they went to that retreat with Nancy. It appears that she is unable to conceal it at all. It's not that most Sister Wives watchers are fans of Cody Brown, but in order to treat them, the family therapist would have to set aside their sentiments. Many Redditors concurred with the OP in spite of this. Redditors respond to Cody Brown's counseling. Many Sister Wives watchers believed the family needed therapy badly from the start. Cody didn't appear prepared to put in the work necessary to make significant adjustments, though. This may be the reason Nancy the therapist was so clearly upset with him. Among the remarks in the Reddit thread were, When someone walks into a therapy session and says they don't want to be chastised or told they have to put in more effort, it's difficult to like them. She saw Cody and Robin as a monogamous couple pretending to be a polygamous family from the beginning, in my opinion. She had had enough of them. 
You cannot ask for assistance in treatment and then insist on not accepting responsibility. That's the reason so many who require it choose not to go. They would never want to be corrected. Are you blaming her? Gwen claims that he is actually worse in real life. Picture spending a long period of time with him. Anyone would find it difficult to hide. I always assumed she wasn't that fond of Cody. She didn't stroke his ego, which I appreciated, but I'm not sure whether it was very successful. To be fair though, Cody was accustomed to his wife doing the heavy lifting and never felt the need to perform any of the job himself. Other Redditors propose that the show speak with Nancy, the therapist, to learn her genuine feelings toward the Brown family. What are your thoughts on this fascinating conversation? Is it possible that Redditors are exaggerating Nancy's fear of Cody? Or was she really afraid of him? Comment with your own ideas. Before the much-awaited start of season 19, Sister Wives actress Mary Brown gently made fun of her ex-husband Cody Brown's current wife, Robin Brown. Mary, 53, discussed her relationship with Cody with a friend in a network teaser for the forthcoming season that was released on Friday, September 13th. The mother of one said, You know how he's been acting, the things that he's been saying for years and we haven't had a relationship for a long time. Ever since we relocated to Flagstaff, he's been saying that it would be a great time to start over. Although Cody started off very positive in their new home state, the proprietor of Lizzie's Heritage and stated that things ultimately went downhill. In a private confessional, Mary remarked, I honestly feel sad for him if that's what he's having to tell himself to justify that he and I started this family. For example, why, given that Robin was only 10 or 12 years old at the time, Mary's buddy mentioned that Cody used to be kinder and that she hadn't seen him put any effort into his relationship with Mary in years and she speculated that he might be going through a super weird midlife crisis. Mary said to the producers, This is honestly how I felt for quite, quite a long time. Is it true that he says these things in an attempt to get me to leave? If so, he won't be seen as the villain because he didn't flee. Following Christine Brown's divorce from the gun seller in 2021, Mary became the father of 18 children's third wife to file for divorce. In 2022, Janelle Brown did the same. Despite the fact that the marriages had a number of problems, Cody's ex-wives frequently criticized him for being partial to 45-year-old Robin. Sister Wives' December 2022 episode featured Mary's first indication of the pair's breakup, which was confirmed by the former couple a month later on social media. We feel compelled to share our own truth, in our own way and in our own timing. In light of a recent unapproved press release, they stated in a joint Instagram message. We have decided to end our marriage relationship permanently after more than 10 years of working on it in our own special ways. We are also committed to the continued healing of any and all relationships within the family, so that we can move forward with forgiveness, grace and love. The 1990 couple continued. We are committed to kindness and respect toward each other, and to all the members of our family, they added. In an interview from July 2024, more than a year later, Mary discussed her relationship status with Robin and Cody following their divorce. The TV personality stated on The Sarah Fraser Show on July 29th that, I've seen them on occasion and you know, talked and texted a little bit, but it's not. I'm in this place where I'm moving forward with my life, and there are aspects of my life that they still need to involved in. But my day-to-day -day is my best friend. My people who are assisting me in moving forward are my day-to-day. -day. I don't want to interact with people who are not doing so. After her marriage to Cody ended, Mary said that she had gotten conflicting messages from her ex-sister wife. I'm not sure if she actually wanted me to stay, but it seems like she did. I think she was depressed and had this thought when she joined a large multi-generational family, Mary remarked. However, her behavior did not match up after that, and Cody gave it to me as well. There was a great deal of uncertainty. This season of Sister Wives, Cody Brown will witness the romance blossom between one of his ex-wives. This weekend marks the premiere of Sister Wives' 19th season, and Cody talked about his feelings while he saw Christine Brown meet David Woolley, the love of her life. The 55-year-old TLC actor recently told people that he's glad his ex-wife was able to find love once more. Christine falls in love on season 19 of Sister Wives, Cody added. Remarkably, Cody went on to say that he hopes the romance between Christine and David would take center stage in season 19's plot instead of his own. Furthermore, 
Cody expressed his opinion that Christine and David's love tale is cute. It's cute and fun to see Christine and David fall in love, according to Cody Brown. And I have to admit, Cody said, it's been a huge relief. I watch the show now and hope it's more about Christine and David than it is about the rest of us because it's cute and they are falling in love. Cody described it as a fun experience to watch his ex fall in love with David. So adorable. It's enjoyable, Cody admitted. Watching them fall in love is entertaining. Cody said that he preferred their friendship over their romantic relationship, suggesting that his relationship with Christine was more platonic. I'm delighted she's had this encounter. Therefore, I'm going to be enjoying myself voyeuristically watching it, Cody told the publication. He went on. You're going to love seeing Christine fall in love and become foolish and stupid the way lovers become. This season will see the romantic plot between Christine and David come to fruition, but Cody has promised a ton of turmoil. He said, It's not going to be fluff. Sister Wives' 19th season will include the romantic tale of Christine and David. The courtship of Christine and David took place in a flash. They were formally married in October 2023 after meeting virtually in October 2022. David shows up on Christine's doorway for a date. As we saw in the Sister Wives season 19 teaser, Christine, dressed in a leather skirt, displays her flirtatious side for a change as she says, Hello, baby, and chews her lip. Christine says, We've already planned our second date. To the TLC cameras in the video, I'm just being honest with you about it. Fans of Sister Wives will be able to witness the progression of Christine and David's love story from their first date to their wedding day this season unlike the TLC wedding special from last year. After splitting from Cody Brown, Sister Wives star Christine Brown literally shines. After starting over with someone new, her Instagram followers can't help but notice how much healthier and mentally well she looks. Christine also exchanged her Flagstaff property for a Utah house after parting ways with Cody. Her garden vista appears to be truly breathtaking. Fans express their shock at seeing the true beauty of her property in a recent Instagram post. Discover more about Christine's house and what people are saying about it by reading on. Christine Brown of TLC displays her gorgeous mountain views and garden. Right now, Christine Brown is ecstatic. She returned to Utah after marrying David Woolley and made the decision to immerse herself in new interests. She started gardening recently, and she's showing off the results of her labor to her Instagram followers with excitement as October approaches. Happy morning! Sun after spending some time in the garden, I've noticed that the tomatoes are really flourishing. Tomato Christine wrote as the Instagram posts caption, Now is the ideal time to experiment with canning recipes. What do you guys think of salsa or even homemade spaghetti sauce? Do you have any go-to canning recipes? Put them down below. Fresh from the garden, canning season, and hashtag garden vibes bikini herb. She included pictures of her abundant crop in the post. Fans could see the stunning Utah scenery in the backdrop of multiple pictures. On the horizon, towering mountains provided an amazing vista. While several admirers expressed interest in Christine's garden, many more expressed admiration for the view from her backyard. Instagram users posted, That view is what I'm commenting on, not the tomatoes which look fantastic. Whoa! Christine, you have some gorgeous veggies growing. Nothing grows on me, it just dies. Your tomatoes seem really tasty. It's a lovely view from your garden. Everything appears really well. You must live in an ideal climate. Have fun. Good morning. Amazing location and delicious tomatoes smiling face with hard eyes. The Sister Wives star gives Janelle advice on moving on. Stars of Sister Wives Janelle and Christine Brown have been very close for a long time. We'll look into Janelle's life after she broke up with Cody this season. In a brand new teaser, Christine cheerfully urges her pal to leave Flagstaff. Maddie, Janelle's daughter, says in the video that they plan to look at some land in Montana for construction. Christine is ecstatic to hear the news and thinks this might be a big step for Janelle. View the video here. Janelle and Christine Brown excitedly begged, according to Sister Wives patriarch Cody Brown, to be a part of his life as wives before they formally joined the polygamous household. In addition to drawing attention, the audacious assertion has created the possibility of disagreements and conversations over the real nature of their individual courtships in the upcoming Sunday, September 10th episode of Sister Wives. Cody Brown reveals in the teaser a number of the distinct prerequisites 
he had set for Janelle and Christine Brown, his former spouses. In an open confession, he also acknowledges that he overextended himself in an attempt to satisfy the demands and demands of each of his four marriages. In a confessional talk show, Cody Brown discusses what he calls sacred loneliness, a term he coined to describe the long periods of time women in polygamous marriages spend alone because their husband divides his time between several wives. Sacred isolation? Like you should respect the fact that you are alone. Christine hears Cody's comments and can't help but laugh. The idea is that you sacrifice some of your emotional needs because you want to live in a plural marriage. I've always thought it was so dumb, says Janelle Brown, explaining her interpretation of the phrase. Apologies. After expressing her own opinions, Mary Brown notes that she regularly overhears Cody talking about the difficulties faced by women in several marriages. She continues saying, It's like seriously now you found it out? Robin Brown agrees that plural marriage might be isolating, but she also says that it's a chance for one to develop a connection with God. Nathan and Cody Brown are shown conversing at a different part of the show. Cody acknowledges the emotional struggles that women in multiple marriages may face during their conversation. Even yet, he acknowledges that he's become weary of hearing about the struggle. Cody notes, they all agreed that they were going to do this, underscoring the fact that each of his wives voluntarily joined into this arrangement after being fully informed of its terms. In a confessional piece, Mitch discusses his viewpoint and says it's difficult to speak confidently about the subject unless you've sat in the seat and been a guy that's had four wives and tried to meet the emotional, spiritual, physical and mental needs of four women. He says, judgment comes with a certain amount of hubris. Cody attempts to defend his position in a different confessional by offering his own analysis of the circumstances. I pursued Mary and Robin, but Janelle and Christine both requested to be included in the family, he says. And with that request, I had certain conditions that I wanted them to fulfill in order to join the family. The primary one was that you must be devoted to me. There will be other wives. In the meantime, Janelle takes a minute to correct Cody's claims about her and Christine's request to join the family, stressing that things didn't exactly go as Cody had claimed. A man should not be out pursuing wives, she asserts. Look, I feel like I had a spiritual revelation that maybe I belong in your family is how the lady usually approaches the family, he adds. Robin was invited, and Christine and I asked to be in the family. Janelle goes on, maybe we should be content with what we got because Christine and I asked for it and we deserve less? We weren't pleading to be included in the family. We just asked romance ensued and we were all married. Christine made her desire to leave the polygamous union public in November 2021. Subsequently, the sister wives. One on one special that aired in December 2022 revealed more fractures in the family dynamics when Mary and Janelle announced their split from Cody, the head of the household. For the time being, Robin Brown is the only one who is still married to Cody.